So what's the book under the blue book? That's <laughs> so fucking fresh. <laughs> yeah, oh, what a, isn't it the grossest title? No, it's fine. I thought it was so, I mean, I really used to know it was so bad. Where did that title really, come from? Yeah. Well, I had a poem that I've never printed called Fresh on Voice in the Plane. And I was like, uh, I don't, I'm not sure. I think it had something to do with, like, academic poets. They're always from, like, the Midwest, and it was, like, the voice from the, uh -huh. the Midwest or something. You're not from the Midwest. No. <laughs> so I thought it would be <laughs> really sick to oh. have this, like, book that you were just, like, you know. Oh, I see. It's funny. A new voice from okay. the, you know, Midlands and, you know, okay. and stuff. And yeah. Louise, like, somebody like Louise Gluck. They always pose in like white shirts and stand there. You know? Oh, I see. So it's kind of ironic then. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. It's not like every time I every time I refer to the book, it's sort of like you feel like it, I mean, like I don't. You want to call it like A F V P Q, you know? Like, instead of like, oh, you know, my first book, A Fresh Young Voice in the Plains. You know, like a fresh voice or a fresh young. I mean, like it all sounds like an orange juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So now we're going to hear it from it. You're going to throw it on the floor and say, no, I like the title. <laughs> yeah. And here's the title. Right. Hey, you can buy Flip it over. There's a little neat picture on the back. Right. Here you took all these letters, cigarette, uh, litter of papers. I can read the one. Want to hear, read the back letter? Yeah. Okay. It's dated. Eileen Miles is a 30 year old poet living in New York City. I wrote the blurb. She describes her poems as cheap talk, and most poets. No, most critics agree. Her poems are filled with the aching, lonely winds that blow through the vast plains surrounding the greater Boston area, from where she hails. This is her third volume of poetry, her first being The Irony of a Leash, Irony of the Leash, a long dog poem published by Jim Brody Books, 1978. Her second, Pola Ode, Dead Duke Books, 1979, a collaborative love poem written with Ann Waldman. Mm. I'm gonna piss Anne off. <laughs> Why? This I don't know. I just thought it, was fun. it, was like, it probably was. It was like a near leg. <laughs> <laughs> this her third, as we said, announces her as a poet of the future. Because all these, all, all the, you know, all those new, uh, mm -hmm. anthol, Ted, Ron, all those guys, like, like oh, right. poets of the future, you know. <laughs> Miss Miles, Miss anti, anti feminist. It was just being real twerp and and. You know, feminists and lesbians pick me up on this. Why do you say miss? <laughs> and I thought it was funny. Miss Miles plans to live forever and regards her poems as a few of the many branches consciousness takes in its desperate escape through life. I think I, I like I like the blur about it. It's great. But my mother did not think the book was funny. <laughs> Your mother didn't like it? No, no. She was real hot to have it in the local library before she saw it. You know. And then, then it was like, you know, when she saw her, well, it was all, you know, like, she shot heroin once, and <laughs> oh, you know, oh, it's, she it's slept with a woman, too you know, and, then, for her. and like, yeah, and this, this one, this, but this one I never sent her, because twice there's two, like, references, oh, this, yeah, this I would like to talk about, this, okay. I want to, hey, there's two references. about your mom. Huh? Finish thing about your mom, because there's two references. Yeah, there's two, re yeah, that's what I was going to, there's two references in here to my mother, and one is, um, her name is Genevieve. There's a poem called Genevieve. And at some point it's like, uh, yeah, if mom left town, the kids would have a house. All the runaway notes I left in childhood were just substitutes for, mom, will you please leave? And I just thought, that, mom, she would take that wrong. <laughs> you know, I mean, like the other stuff I didn't even, I didn't even worry about, but this, and then this other one. Or is it, it's just, well, I, didn't, I know the line, it's like, lover, lover, he's a flower, he doesn't think it's like my mother. And I didn't, I meant that in the absolute best way, you know? I mean, I meant, you know, like, my mother has this great dreaming quality where she just, like, kind of walks around and is, is you know, she's real, you know, she gets things done. She's real physical and she's real smart. And, and But, um, you know, you don't talk about her, with her about your problems or your psychology. You don't talk personal. You don't, you Ever? Know, no, no, she doesn't want to hear about that stuff. It's just like, you know, it's like either achievement or, 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 or well, you know, she just wants to see a lot, you know, money or something, you know. Well, she's, she's like an orphan. You know, like her mother died when she was four and father died when she was eight. And she's so, if she's like really so insecure, I mean, like, why shouldn't she be, you know? So, you know. What does she think about your life now? Oh, well, I don't know. She has a secret, I think she has a secret, like secret hope 
You know what I mean? But it's sort of like she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to um, lean towards the romantic. Because my dad was just real romantic, mm -hmm. you know, and he didn't come to anything, you know. So it's sort of like it's sort of like she thinks I'm like him, and so so she like encourages me or says that's great. Then it's like saying, well, you know, it's encouraging fuck upism or something. Yeah. So she, you know, she's fine. But I have this feeling that she is secretly charmed, you know, secretly but charmed. she she won't quite tell me. That's that okay. Did she ever see you read? No, no. She almost, she almost, she almost did, but I didn't. I didn't. I've never read in Boston. 